Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we are doing Halloween Coordinates 3 walkthrough video for MassSalamanders.com. Mass Salamanders has tons of great links, and this one is an especially cool one because this is a Halloween-themed coordinate plane worksheet. What we're going to do is we are going to look at each one of these coordinates, and we're going to connect them, and then we're going to color them in as designated here, and it's going to make a really cool Halloween scene. So let's go ahead and get started. So how do we interpret what these coordinates mean? Well, the first number is the X coordinate, and the second number is the Y coordinate. The X coordinate tells us to go horizontally. So in this case, it's going to be X is going to tell us to go right. And the Y coordinate tells us the vertical coordinate. So in this case, it's going to tell us to go up. So if we're looking at our grid here, the first point is the point 1, 9. That means we're going to go 1 to the right, in nine up. So let me go over to my grid here. You can see I coordinated the Y as the vertical, that's in blue, and the X as the horizontal, that's in red. So one nine is gonna be right about there, and there's my point. Okay, and I'm gonna keep this process going. So I'm gonna go to two nine, put a point there, and then I'm gonna go to connect those lines. Okay, and then I'm gonna just keep going from there until I get each one of those shapes. So I finished set one, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of fast forward and connect all these shapes, and then I'm going to color them in at the end. So if you want to kind of watch and just, you know, maybe plot along, pause it, but I'm going to go fast here so you can follow along. And there you have it. So I'm done with plotting all my points, and now I get to the fun part, and I can color them in. So I'm actually going to start with the background, which says it's dark blue. So I'm going to get my highlighter out. I'm going to use the highlighter just because it's a little more forgiving than the other functions of this. So I'm going to get my big swath first. And I'm. it's okay if I kind of go over here. I'm just going to kind of shade in, and it might actually appear in different colors. Okay, because this sometimes when you pick up your pen... It might uh, appear as a different color. It just makes it a little darker. And I'm actually gonna use that feature later. Okay, but I just, this is just to get a general idea. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I'm getting my background colored in. And I actually wanted to be down a little bit lower, but it's okay. All right, finish this up right here. See what I mean? If you go over it with the highlighter feature, it gets it a little darker, so I'm actually going to try to minimize the amount that it overlap. And this little corner right there. And then I have in between this little cat spot. Okay, got a thin tail there I got to be careful of. Get it above here. And final little spot. Okay, and I can make this darker, and I can clean it up by using some partial erasers here. So let me go ahead and do that. Make it a little bit bigger. All right, cleaning up that edge. Now one thing you'll know is the moon needs to be white, so I'm just gonna basically leave it how it is. Okay, and if you want to just kind of uh, maybe shade in the colors a little differently than they have, that's fine too. This is just to be fun. So if you want to make it a little bit different, use slightly different colors, that is 100% okay. So I'm just showing you the colors that they have here chosen for you. Okay, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to darken this background up a bit. Like I said, I need to highlight the whole thing though. Okay, highlight this. 
that should do it. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it. There, it's a little bit darker and that's what I was kind of going for. And I'm gonna have to erase this again, oops. Okay, I really wanna get to some of the more fun parts. So I'm gonna kind of put the uh, end to the, the background here. I'm gonna move on to the cat. Okay, the cat is supposed to be black. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. I'm definitely gonna have to erase the eyes. I'm gonna try to do this all in one go. So I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner just so we can not make as many mistakes and have too much overlap. I'm gonna try to avoid the eyes just because I, I, I'm pretty sure I can do a pretty good job of it. Okay, doing a decent job avoiding the eyes. Just kind of color in the body here. I'm glad they chose to go with the cat. I don't know, the cat, the black cat is just an iconic Halloween uh, imagery. And so is the jack-o'-lantern, of course. I feel like you have to have a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. So we're finishing and coloring in the tail. And just about done. A little bit of a mess up there on the edge, but not terrible. We'll we'll make it work. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste this just to darken it up. Okay, make sure it's nice and overlapped. We're gonna have a little <laughs> <laughs> little bit of issues. I can always fix that with the pen feature later, and I am going to fix my eye Oops too big and make it a little thinner Okay, we're getting into more fine work here. That's why I'm making it smaller and smaller Okay, next up. I am going to work on my jack-o'-lantern orange color So I like this this color is a perfect color I think for the jack-o'-lantern Okay, and I'm gonna avoid these eyes and the stem. Those are different colors, and you can note that it designates that as green, and then these little cutouts for the mouth as yellow. Okay, along with the cat's eyes are yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy paste this one too. Copy, paste. That's a much, much better orange. I'm actually gonna paste it again, make it even darker. And now I'm gonna get these two spots with another coat. Like almost like a coat of paint. Those are looking great. Okay, I'm gonna get my stem now. I like this kind of lighter color for it. And it's okay for the stem to kind of be a little blotchy because it's not gonna be a uniform color. And actually, you can actually do some cool things. We're probably gonna do it later. I'm gonna get the eyes going first though. These can kind of overlap a little bit. It makes it look like it's shining a little bit and like the ambient light is shining through the candle. And I actually like that look a lot. So I'm gonna let that be a little messy. And then now we're onto the cat's eyes and I need to make this a little bit more sharp. Okay, and then now we're onto the cat's eyes. Cat's eyes are gonna be different. So I'm actually gonna use a different feature. I'm going to use the pen mode because I want this to be nice and vivid and not have any smudge. So this needs to be a little bit more sharp. Okay, that's looking sharp. All right, now into the other eye. And I don't want to be the, the eyes to be different sizes, so I need to make sure they stay pretty uniform. I don't know if I'm doing a great job. I'll just make this one bigger. There we go. Okay, now I'm just about done. I'm gonna put some finishing touches on this. So I'm gonna do some black outlines on this just to smooth out the shape a little bit. And maybe I should have done this from the very beginning. So if you're doing this for the first time, maybe start with a nice thick outline instead of the thin one I chose to start with. And I think that would make it a little bit more neat. But again, this is just for fun and just to practice your math coordinates along the way. So this is why I really like this worksheet from Math Salamanders. So let's connect this tail here. Just about done. Kind of doing double work here, but that's okay. Um, and I think I'm gonna do the jack lantern too, just to make it pop a little bit more, and the moon. So really, I might have, if I were to do this again, I might just go ahead and do the entire 
picture in a nice thick outline with these particular colors that I chose. And actually I'm going to add some little stem coloration here. There we go. This is making it look a little better. And I might actually add some lines here. Those are hard to see. So let me make that a little thicker. And I'm not sure if this is helping at all, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta take risks as an artist, and that's the risk I'm taking right now. Last thing I wanna do is I wanna work on this moon. I wanna make this look nice and sharp. And right now it's not looking sharp. <laughs> looking a little smudgy. So I just wanted to sharpen up, and there you have it. So there's my Halloween drawing from Mass Salamanders. You can see the one they have. Theirs is pretty good. Honestly, I kind of like theirs more than, than mine, but yours is going to look even better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to tune in next time to West Explains Best. Can't wait to see you then.